Awesome. Th thank you again, everyone, and sorry for the, the technical difficulties there. Um, so rolling into the new business uh, center that we've recently rolled out in a couple phases here. Um, the, the first iteration of this tool uh, was meant to help our agencies prospect out to potential clients who are already running digital marketing campaigns um, on either AdWords or Facebook. Um, so what you can see here is, is we've got a white labeled portal for you guys to come in and link up your leads. Um, you can name the lead, whatever you'd like, um, select whatever industry that they're in um, and select a two. Once the lead is created, included in the trial as we walk through the tools, um, but more that you can present these types of values and actions that you can take um, to make sure that they improve their digital marketing efforts through the use of your agency. So if we scroll down, We've got one already loaded up. Cost per acquisition might be in the industry. If we open up your AdWords performance grader, what you'll see is, is a tool that will recommend running a few of your to just get a diagnostic kind of overview of how things are going. Um, and if you see here, you know, Dean of the Dentist, if I'm tidal wave marketing, I'm really drilling into these top three categories here. You know, uh, not too many actions taken in the last 30 days, a quality score that's below the seven of the industry and geo that they're in. You'll see as you scroll through here that we break down each of the statistical overview um, into different clickable objects to give you an understanding of how this account is bring value. If, if our impression share being lost to ad rank, we already mentioned quality score. So there's a lot of kind of statistical issues here, um, you know, affecting the overall performance of this account. You can share this with your prospects white labeled, things that I would accomplish. For you. Um, now, we learned over time that you know a lot of our agencies that are pitching business to um, to prospective clients are pitching to people that have never done Google Ads, never done Facebook advertising in the past. So what WordStream has done is leveraged all of the data that we have here and, and analyzed over time, um, and created what's called our proposal generator tool. So using the same process, if I went in here and created an account for Joe's dentist. I selected the business industry of health, healthcare services, and dentists and dental services. You'll see if we go to continue, we'll be brought to a page to link up a account. Now, obviously, this is an example using someone who has never used um, AdWords, never used Facebook before. They're coming to our agency for our expertise in the space and they want to get up and running and start generating leads for their business. So what I'm going to do is as opposed to hook up their existing AdWords or Facebook account, we'll just skip it. Um, so if we skip it, you'll be brought down to a section where you, um, so what this proposal is located in Boston, because we are, um, we can type in some keywords that we think we might search for a dentist in Boston. So dentist, dental services, dentist near me, standing of the type of search volume and, and, and results that we can get off of keywords that we'd be searching for if we were looking for dentists. We'll also ask you to implement or in, input um, the conversion rate that they're getting on leads now. So the phone calls that are coming in, the form fills that they're, they're getting, um, any quotes that they're getting on the website, let's say 25. Uh, percent and based off of the average um, that we're looking at um, for Dina in terms of CPA that you can expect in the industry, let's just say that you know the average selling price is $75 for argument's sake. If we go to generate the proposal, we'll be brought to a screen that looks like this. Um, and we've created a white labeled deliverable with your logo here and, and the client's name. Um, that'll give you an understanding of, you know, the average spend in this region and the types of results that you can get. You'll see those keywords that we typed in here and, and a map. You'll be able to come down here and, and look at different strategies that you can use with that middle of the road budget that we have. So if we're going to put it all towards, you know, search advertising, we've got ad to fill all areas of the marketing funnel. You know, we're breaking down the different ways to use the budget here. And this is just a recommended action for them based off of that $1,500 mark that we've set. Um, so we've got you covered on the sales side of things, you know, for people that are advertising in the past, but are looking for your expertise to get into tools based off of the data that we've analyzed and allow you to get something out the door that you can confidently say you can generate X amount of leads from X amount of budget. 
So that's our new business center. Um, if you guys are struggling in the sales process or want to do a deeper dive on this functionality, um, you know, feel free to put your hand up after the webinar. We'll have an opportunity to indicate that you're interested in something like that as well. Diving into the tools, um, we've also got, once you get those clients on board and upgrade them into your clients that you have under management, we've got a way to get you organized here using our client center. Um, so what WordStream has built is a cross-platform client center. So rather than having you know five different browsers open, words accounts, different Facebook accounts, Facebook pages, business managers, MCCs, it's all right here in front of you. Um, on the left-hand side, You'll see these are examples of client names as they live here um, in the WordStream tool. If you hit any of these drop-down arrows, you'll see that these aren't just Google Ad or Facebook accounts. These are these are marketing accounts. These are where you know all of your marketing optimizations and improvements are happening for your clients across AdWords, Bing, and Facebook. In the middle, we'll allow you to set month-to-date spend goals. So what this spending fifteen dollars this month, and I say new. Um, is notify you via email if you begin to over or underspend by 10% in either direction. Um, so if you've got a client that's got a strict budget of $15,000, they don't want to spend less, they don't want to spend more, we'll stay on top of that for you um, each and every you know, time that, that, that the spend is, is over or under where it should be. And then on the right-hand side, we've got a statistical overview looking at the main statistics associated with each individual account, um, looking at things like conversion, spend, CPA, clicks, and CPC. Um, so what we're trying to accomplish here is our 20-minute workweek technology that gives you actionable recommendations and, and things that you can implement into the accounts, that runs every Sunday. So the idea is Monday morning, you log in, um, you know, you take care of those alerts and your optimization maintenance is done for the week. Now, if you are someone like this client account here that's got eight profiles in it, you know, you might not have that time to dedicate first thing on Monday morning. So what you'd want to do is leverage the kind of statistical performance, change, trends, anything that, you know, indicates that that account needs your priority or, or your attention first thing in the morning on Monday um, and use these stats without having to log into each individual account. The other beautiful thing here is, is as a user, if you click this add a new profile button, you don't need to be adding in accounts one at a time. You'd be able to bring in your entire MCC with one click as well. Um, so it's not kind of a tedious process to get this loaded up and, and looking like this that we have here in front of us, it, it would take less than five minutes to do so. And you have the control over what kind of comparison period you use and what data you use um, you know, with these kind of toggle calendars here at the top. Um, so if you want to use, you know, a, a quarterly um, comparison period, for example, you absolutely could do that. Now, logging in to the individual client account, you'll be brought to what's called all of your weekly optimizations and maintenance um, across the board for all of your clients. Before diving in specifically to the alerts, I want to focus our attention on our dashboard here um, for one specific feature. Um, you'll see at the top we've got total ad so what we're to optimize around a CPA for your client's entire advertising spend. No longer are we siloing CPA to AdWords or Facebook or Bing. We're looking at this cross-platform and identifying where we're going to get the most profitable conversions for your clients, no matter what the network is. Once a CPA goal is set up, we run a cross-platform budget opportunity alert for you and monitor CPA performance across campaigns of all connected networks and recommend moving some budget around to be sure that we're spending money where it's going to get us the best return. Okay. Now, moving back into the 20-minute work week, you'll see the individual alerts across the individual networks that we discussed. The top is always going to be AdWords and Bing alerts. The bottom will be your Facebook alerts, through them one at a time, um, and it's a really clean and easy way to, to manage your, your accounts. Um, the top two alerts on the AdWords and Bing side are always going to be based on the search terms that your client's showing up for and some recommendations for new negative keywords and new keywords based off of the actions that are being taken on those ads. We'll make bid adjustments for you. Um, two levels at the keyword level. On the Facebook side of things, we'll do things like suffering from ad fatigue, um, monitoring placements and excluding them and using underperforming ads as well. Going through a couple of these alerts, way to eliminate, uh, eliminate the group to determine whether or not these negative keywords would be relevant in this area. All you need to do is the user is analyze the negative, analyze this data. You can look at the actual search query that that negative keyword is accepted to decline these recommendations. 
Um, so not only are you saying no, you're saying no because of this. Um, and that way the tool can learn and grow with you and not show you things that are irrelevant and going to take up your time each and every week. Um, and then on the, flip, on the flip side here, we're also going to identify keywords that, you know, on the, on the exact opposite of that negative alert, these are things that you're showing up for, you're spending money on, you're generating conversions on these keywords, but you're not yet bidding on them directly. Um, so what we're doing is identifying things that are going to get us a lower, uh, uh, a lower cost per click, a lower cost per acquisition like we were talking about earlier, um, and also increase things like click-through rate and quality score in the account. Again, accepting or declining is the exact same way. Match types within the WordStream platform are all clicked to edit. So no longer are you using plus signs for modified broad. You get to click modified broad and just apply it that way. It's a much less tedious way to add in keywords um, using the modified broad match type. And then from this interface, you'll also be able um, to select any area of the account that you want to put it in. We're putting it into the ad group and the campaign that it generated the conversion on. If you feel as though there's a better place, you can absolutely or you can create a new ad group for that keyword right from this interface as well. Okay. Bidding, two levels. Make bid adjustments at the keyword level. Um, so we're going to analyze all the keywords in the account um, and look for things like quality score and ROI. If you have a keyword that's got a really strong quality score or a really strong ROI, and we see an opportunity to move it higher up on the page to get more clicks, more conversions on that keyword that we're getting really good results on, we'll make a marginal increase like the one we're seeing here at 35 cents, move it up a page position on the page, um, and continue getting really good results there. On the flip side, we'll also identify keywords that are generating poor ROI, poor quality score, and recommend scaling back that bid so we can continue to reallocate that budget elsewhere in the account where it's going to be better served. And then at the device level, what we'll do is analyze performance of each campaign across device. Um, and if we see devices like we're seeing in this screen here, like desktop and tablet, that are performing significantly better from a click-through rate or a conversion rate or a CPA point of view, we'll recommend increasing the bid amount on those devices a certain percentage. In this case, it's 10%. Same uh, as, as it was on the keyword level, we'll do it on the device level too, where if we see a significant dip in performance on any given device, say mobile is significantly underperforming here, we'd recommend scaling back that bid um, on that device in that campaign. Next, we're going to look at our display ad technology. What the display ad technology um, kind of ties back to is that question that we asked at the beginning. You know, we're seeing a lot of our agencies spend a lot more time with creative um, and, and display services for their clients. Um, what WordStream has done is built out our smart ads technology. So we know from our experience in talking to clients that, you know, getting the ads, sizing them out, creating all the different um, you know, sizes and banner sizes that you need to for display advertising is an incredibly tedious process. And a lot of you indicated that it was taking you a couple hours a week just to do that. Um, so what we've done is prompted you to create new display ads. And, and this is available anywhere within the tool. If you wanted to build out a brand new display campaign with these display ads, you could absolutely use this technology as well. Um, and as opposed to going out, um, and identifying and finding those kind of images on your own, we'll take this example URL, copy it, and generating, uh, looking like harvest the website for images to be used for display advertising. Um, you'll see that, you know, we've got the top couple selected here. Um, we've got a bunch of other images that we've grabbed as well from that website. If you want to grab the logo and implement, so you don't even need one to implement a bunch of others. Um, and if we do that, it's automatically going to update the ad preview on the right-hand side. You don't need landing page ads. Um, I heard ads that are significantly under purple average for click-through rate, and, and this ad doesn't have any conversions at all. So definitely something we want to take a look at here. And run what's called our dynamic Google best practices check. So on the left-hand side, you've got the text of the ad. On the right-hand side, you've got your best practices. So if I were coming through to manage and edit this ad and improve it, um, what I would do is just follow along you know, on this best practices check, and these red X's and green check marks are dynamic work that I do on the left-hand side. So if I were to you know, find some high-volume keywords and put them in the headlines to improve them, so to follow along with those best practices, you can just come over to this tab, 
copy and paste these keywords and implement them into the ad, um, and you would have those red X's turning into green check marks really quickly. On, on the uh, the AdWords and Bing side, retired age range 25 to 65. Um, WordStream's identified that it's performing much better in a smaller age range. Um, so you can use this slider to set it to the recommended um, or keep it a little bit wider if you like. Um, but more importantly, you know, in terms of, of efficiency here, what we're trying to do is identify ad sets that are, are suffering from ad fatigue. So our click-through rates are declining 58%, or the audience that we're targeting in this ad set has seen the ad on average five and a half times. Um, it's time to swap out um, our copy um, and refresh these ads so people are seeing fresh ads and not seeing the same thing over and over again. Now, the same is true with this refresh ads alert. If you were going in um, to WordStream to create new ads for Facebook advertising, you would have the ability to come in um, and create them from scratch using our smart ads technology, having us go out and harvest those and advertise them for you. So if we create um, a new fresh ad for this ad set, let's grab a single image ad. You'll see a similar screen here where we've harvested images for you already have them size ready to use for Facebook. Uh, all you need to do is select the image, put it in your text and your headlines here, and launch them. Um, you also have the ability to copy ads and copy them down. If you wanted to refresh a bunch of ads here, you'd just be able to copy them down, swap out the images, and launch them live. Um, so again, doing all of the heavy lifting here to cut out time that you're spending um, on creative and display services by getting you those images that you need in a much quicker fashion. So that's our 20 minute work week. Now, before leaving this, it's important to note that this is a prescription. Customize alerts to what's actually happening in your account. You scroll through, what you can see is there's a lot of alerts that haven't run um, for this individual account. That doesn't mean if your accounts were loaded up, you wouldn't see them. It's all relative and all prescriptive to what's actually happening. Um, and you know, that's the real value here is everything that we're doing is extremely, extremely client specific. Last thing I want to show you today, managing and optimizing these accounts. You want to show your clients the information the same way that you're in one screen and, and see what we're doing from an ROI and Legion standpoint. So if we go to edit the report, you'll see that you know these are show hide editable. So you can put in your logo or the client's logo at the top of this report. You'd be able to create the report and name it whatever you want and use whatever date range you want. Um, if you wanted these reports to recur for you on, a, on an auto or automated basis, we could absolutely set that up. Um, all you would need to do is set up a template that you like using these sliders and get your image in there um, and, and export it out as a PDF and share it with your client. We'll show you the overall marketing spend that you've managed for this client through WordStream. Um, and then break it down by each. So we've got our search spend, our display spend, our Bing spend, and our Facebook spend. As we roll through each section of the report, you'll see that we'll go into each in depth. So we've got our search performance funnel and, and spend at the top. You'll see various sections to implement notes and analysis for your clients as well. So you have the opportunity to personalize this message, um, and explain to them um, kind of what they want to see, um, you know, based off of your conversations. We'll show quality scores and kind of what that means, the statistics go along with those. We'll show the key statistics that we've been looking at throughout the entire webinar um, and show you the trends over the reporting period. That we'll show you all of the, you know, spending, you know, you're putting in a ton of effort and taking a lot of actions um, to do so. And, and we're going to highlight that here for you as well. Um, what would be great is, you know, if you've got a tool in place like WordStream where we're automating the usage of those actions and all you need to do is click to apply them, you can see how those would pile up over the course of a month. We'll look at your and keep the statistics to go along with those in this nice word cloud to show your clients. Um, and then the top performing ads. So if you've, write, if you've written an ad and you've got great copy on that ad, um, you know, it's going to show up here with some really great results as well. And then as we scroll through here, you'll see this across all the different channels. So display, the audiences that we're getting on display, those key stats again, and then your top performing display ads. on your face your top performing facebook ads 
Uh, the cross platform too, when you go to and create a report, you can see that you select whatever date range you want, campaigns that you want to choose um, to report out on your clients. So that's kind of a high level overview of what I wanted to go over today on our webinar. Um, you know, I think most importantly, I, I want to thank you all for joining us. Um, and again, this is a, an overview for, for the masses here. If you want to drill into um, you know, specific areas of your business, whether it's sales, whether it's optimization or management. Um, we've got dedicated experts here and consultants um, that would love to meet with you. And I think Amanda um, would be able to pull up um, an area where you can indicate if that's something you'd be interested in doing following up the webinar. Thanks, Matt. Um, that was an awesome walkthrough. Uh, we did have a couple questions come through. I wanted to kind of go back to that budget alert that was quickly mentioned. So if my client, this person asked, if my client has an overall online advertising budget, am I able to kind of see it between Facebook and Google? Do I have to, is it separate? Are the budgets handled separately together? Can you explain that a little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So. Um, we're going to honor the budgets that you have set across all of the different platforms. We're never going to recommend just, you know, purely adding more money, um, you know, into a certain, into a certain platform. And if we recommend a budget opportunity or a change in budget, we're not just adding in more, we're, we're identifying campaigns that are in line with the CPA goals that we've set up for our clients um, and are performing really well and recommending, yeah, sure, let's put a, a couple extra dollars behind that campaign for today uh, or for, the, for our daily budget. And then what we'll show you as well on that alert um, is a few examples of campaigns that are underperforming um, that CPA goal that we've set um, and, and taking some budget away from those campaigns so we can kind of fund, um, you know, getting a few dollars behind the campaign that's performing well. So we're identifying, um, you know, or, or gathering profitable conversions and leads for our clients' businesses. Awesome. Great. And then also just to go back to our discussion on negative keywords, some people were noticing that some of the individual words were highlighted red versus the whole phrase. Does that mean you can add those negative keywords singularly or does it have to use the whole phrase like on Google ads? Yeah, absolutely. So you can you can add in those key, uh, negative keywords singularly if you'd like. Um, you do have the opportunity to add in the entire phrase. Uh, the beauty of using a, a word stream tool is what we're actually doing is combing through um, up to a year's worth of data sometimes. So we're tracking phrases, we're tracking individual keywords, and when we bubble those up, it means it was identified that this negative keyword recommendation has generated a, a significant amount of waste relative to the client. Um, so you can definitely add them in singularly. You can add in the phrase, um, but you know, in terms of uh, you know answering that question specifically, sure, you can add it in um, as that singular keyword. Awesome. And then one final question I just want to hash out. Some of the prospecting tools you showed us, those were you can white label those reports, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, these are client-facing deliverables for the agency. Um, in terms of uh, prospective clients that are already advertising, we're kind of repackaging up some sales tools that, that we use here at WordStream and arming our agencies to help grow and scale in terms of the AdWords performance grade or the Facebook performance grade or in our free trial. Um, and then on the proposal generation side, uh, leveraging the data that we have here and the accounts that we've analyzed um, to give you a client facing proposal that you can actually deliver to the clients um, and make real recommendations to. Awesome, Matt. Thank you so much. Those are about all the questions we have time for today. Um, and just to reiterate again, this session was recorded and you can expect to have the recording and slide deck to your inbox within the next 48 hours. Um, and again, we hope you enjoyed this live product tour and we hope to see you on one of our next webinars. Um, so keep sending us suggestions. We've been polling our agency um, pool to just see like, what do you guys want to hear? What are you interested in learning about? Um, so we want to make sure that our upcoming content is tailored to you and can be beneficial. So again, thanks for joining and we hope to see you on the next one. Bye.